Yeah. back to the land of poplar trees and single knees but you ain't got no legs lieutenant day well anybody who knows me knows that i uh like the old richie bros auctions being that i like the old richie bros auctions just mint look at, look at the grease on there you know your hat's greasy enough when you just peel it off with your fingernail that's that's good for it oh that's greasy that's really greasy yeah that's greasy whether it's soup mix chinese chainsaws dirty old pc light beer try some it tastes like piss or princess auto cosby sauce i'm always up for a good deal so I was on the auction the other day, and the auction would be at Minty. Everything was going good, and I uh, ended up buying myself a couple of this, a couple of that, but I ended up buying myself a house. What? You think you're better than me? Because you've got both your nuts? Now I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Peg, the old lube tube's going to your head, and you're getting all fat-headed now, and you know, you're too good for your Echo Shack. And, well, the truth is, I am too good for this old Echo Shack. I mean, it's not Minty enough. But before we can go see my new house, we gotta go to the auction yard and pick up some of the other junk that I bought. I bought a couple sea cans, bought a sack of old uh, grapple bucket. So I gotta go to the old auction yard, pick up a sea can, and uh, after that, you guys are gonna see my brand new house. I mean, you walk in that door on your two legs, all fat and cocky. In your house, it doesn't have wheels on it. I'm excited. This is the nicest thing I've ever bought. But before we go, we got the Slave Leg air compressors. We got fitting kits, hose, Cosby sauce, 1202, hydraulic oil. All the accoutrement. The accoutrement that you will need. Accoutrement? What is that? The old Slave Leg air compressors. It's just mint. I pulled her out from under the workbench, sprayed her with the sauce. First pull. Oh, just mint. Still runs mint. Still makes wind. It's even already It's not even leaked. What a hot piece of minty Alrighty, well we got everything we need, we think. Gonna need probably a couple batteries too, but uh, we're gonna load all this in the back of the truck and haul that. Alrighty, well we got the dirty old Keddy's rental trailer. Slave leg air compressors. Let's get the 59 out of here.
while we're just sitting here waiting to pick up our sea can look at this minty farm trailer right here right if you zoom in and look right about there that thing's been sitting on the fence for a while long enough that something's been growing out of the deck but the farmer doesn't give a sweet fiddler so and don't forget about the double dual taillights mint i don't think any of the bottom ones work does the left one work the right one does not work the right one's carry foxing it hard all righty well we're picking up the first sea can here and these guys at richie bros are always just beauty to deal with just minty guys in the yard oh she's heavy what's that trailer rated for all of it all righty that guy can run a loader mint all right well we're gonna want to go ahead and just chip all the gravel off of here because nothing like wrecking somebody's windshield all of the windshields perfect sake you know you want to look good when you're leaving this yard you know i mean we're an oil bird anyway and everybody's windows probably already but there might be that one that's not that and at the price of gravel i don't think rb wants me to steal their gravel like 20 bucks of the gravel hanging off of here got princess auto on sale 25 bucks all right once you strap down we'll say a little prayer to the big guy upstairs here eight pound Six ounce newborn infant Jesus. Hit the highway. Let's go check out my house. I'm excited. What this? This is free now. What is that thing? Oh, it's from a 79. Uh 24 valve, I'd say. Yeah, definitely 24 valve. Piston spring, you idiot. <laughs> what is this? Bets Industries. This is definitely some pneumatic override valve thingy 500. Valve but it something. smells like tank truck stuff. Smell it. Smells like tank truck oh, stuff. It does too, yeah. Dirty old crude oil stuff. Yeah. It's at the RB yard, so it could literally be anything. Well, let's haul ass. We got like 15 minutes of daylight left, and it's only 13:30. All right, let's give her the old Survivor Man, Les Stroud. So you stick your four fingers between the sun and the horizon, and each finger is good for 15 minutes. So we got an hour and a half of daylight left, and it's 13:30. Oh, f Willard, don't give a shit. You're and fired. Look at him eating fried chicken. Alrighty, well these guys are beauty. All the ladies in there, Menti. Our load is, you know, all the way tied down. Let's haul that with our hour and a half of daylight left. People watching this video are definitely gonna bitch that the remaining left of the video is gonna be in the dark, but I mean that's just So after a short little drive and giving her all the way and this, that, and the other thing, I want you guys to check out my new house. Convinced. Not too often it's better buy the house from the auction, but today's the day. I'm stoked. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Oh, oh, uh. This is the house. I was just f***ing you guys. It's definitely a sea can, but it's a f***ing house. What the f is this piece of? And it's the nicest house I own. She's mint. What do you guys see inside? Insulated. Fing sea can. Got a minty minty deal on it sale. She's gonna be uh, headquarters for out here. Fing beauty. So this is where the bitch is gonna get interesting. We're out here on the dirt. Everything's fing minty. Everything's good to go. But I don't have any fing iron out here. Nothing. I got a old fur that I didn't even know I owned. Got a bunch of junk that got burnt in a forest fire and uh well i got this a 1980 lw 900 picker truck shake hands for danger so i don't have a skid steer i don't have a track loader i don't have an excavator i got sweet fiddlers oh i got this minty 
screw cab schlong box bird though. Check this sassy old prick out. What a treat. Man. So I did a rejive and drive on this sassy old okay Whopper. Well, children, ladies, and men of old, sit down and I'll tell you this story that ain't so bold. It started off, old single drive and I went on Facebook Marketplace to find some garbage to buy. We jumped in the truck and off out east and sprayed ether in this dirty old fucking K Whopper beast. She grunted, she groaned, and came out of her hole with just a little bit of prying from a couple of holes. After a hundred gallons of diesel, we hit the old highway, and let me tell you, things did not go my way. The tanks, they were a leaking, and the brakes were right fiddle. But we drove all night in that dirty old truck. No, they told us it was going to be ready to go. Yeah. So well, they said you paid the bill? I paid the bill. That one's not even dry rotted. Man, okay. I want to see you doing 60 mile an hour with this and that blow out. It's going to be exciting. Man, they would still be I don't know what he was lifting with this contraption. Oh man, <laughs> look at that. That thing's awesome. There's some stuff that's overrated the and old, some stuff that's underrated. Yeah, the abortion quick 500. <laughs> I don't think the shackle's big enough for it though. That tire, she's good. Need a little wind in that prick. Man, I don't think she's been on the road since 99. Oh, she's good to go. It's gonna be a bit of a debacle, but we're gonna get her done. I already offered to take the starter with a crane. If you can get the starter out with a crane, I will give you my middle nut. Are you serious? Yes. Is there anything I'll else you'd give me that I might actually want? Well, you love my middle nut. Three <laughs> fancy bad. How much smoke is gonna come out of the interior when we hook these up? And I built these cables last night, drinking beer, listening to Queen of my double wide trailer with polyester curtains and a redwood deck. Oh, no, okay. I don't matter. I'm crank on it. <laughs> Where would I bag him? I don't know. You want me to give it a shot? Give it, give her Just a go. Just the same as the one time. <laughs> Man, that go and feel that brake pedal. She's solid. Throw it in the hole. Yeah. And the whole boom truck maxed out. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it on the gravel. We'll see if we tore off like 15 transmission lines. That sounds good. Alrighty, so the debacle of getting this old uh, K Whopper rejived and drived wasn't even that bad. We got her out of the hole. Had you seen? It was a little bit of fiddle. The uh, it was sunk in the ground for quite a while. We don't actually know how long it was sitting, but long enough that the whole 
front driver side was uh sunk right up to the diff that was a bit of fiddle we swapped the tires out did a little bit of fiddle that got her on the road and uh man she was leaking wind she was leaking wind something fierce the uh the rear air tanks were right fiddle and the front tank was we changed that there's a lot of fiddle got her on the go got her on the road and we drove her all the way from uh damn near to Devonton to uh back to valley view oil berta so yeah we drove her back here and uh, it's been sitting here now for a couple of months and uh the only thing we have out here to lift that c can with is this sassy old k whopper so there's a few issues with the old girl on the drive home the blow by was so bad that we had to like put coveralls and blankets around the uh the shifter boot because uh well she's a bit of a winded old 855 in her <coughs> big cam oh look at the sassy green interior what a treat but yeah the shifter boots blowing right out of her and the blow by coming through the floor was just on bearable we couldn't deal with her all righty well we're gonna we gotta get the batteries out of here. Oh, we're gonna pull the whole works over there. Just look at this sassy thing. Oh, you guys won't guess what the name of the guy that sold this truck to me. His name is Dick Wild. How mint is that? No shit. Literally named Dick Wild. Man, I went to BC and bought this Ford. Ford IDI 7.3. And uh, it's an auto tragic. I drove it from the island. And I drove it. I drove it just about in the Valmont, BC. When she uh, chucked her cookies. She fired a rod out the side of the block. And uh, oh, almost out the side of the block. I don't know. <laughs> It started dying, started making some real weird smoke. So I just laid into her and while well, she uh, she locked up pretty hard. But she's a minty old turd bow IDI. Mint. Sacked the f out though. So this is like the last bit of daylight. It's, uh, I think it's 15.30 right now. And we got some work to do. You know what? My buddy Dallas over at Single Drive was giving me saying peg and leg and you're fat, stupid and retarded and crippled and living in an echo shack and stupid and retarded and stunned and you know you, you could trick a treat over the phone make an onion cry and only your mother could love you and barely even that and uh, a bunch of other stuff a bunch of nice things he usually says and he says peg this thing will never lift that c can because it's single lined and the ratings and all the rest of that fiddle neck. but usually if it was just a regular c can it would lift it no problem being that uh c cans are only 8500 pounds but that mother the way it feels on the back of that truck and the way it hauled i would say it's definitely a solid 14 15 thousand pounds and i don't know where the rating is on this thing oh there's the rating i mean we're not going to worry about the rating we're just going to go until something breaks but 80 degrees that's what we're going to want it's only good for 15,000 pounds and that was brand new but down here it said it's good for 24,000 pounds i think yeah 24,000 pounds so that's the first i don't know 24,000 pounds with just the thing so we're gonna have to have it on the second way out or the second stick jib I don't know what the, I don't, but yeah, the orange here is the danger zone. You got the mustard, you got the, uh, I don't know what the orange, you got mustard and ketchup mixed together, making the orange there. And then in here, I don't even know it's cleared off, so you're good to go, but. Never seen levels quite this high. But then, you know, just having a little look at her, having a little look at it, a look at that. And this is all providing if the sassy old prick starts. We pull this off this pin out of here and pin that to that guy right and then i got a snatch block in the truck i don't know what the snatch block's good for but it was on sale at princess auto so we'll rig that onto here with the right shackledge and we should be good to go i mean it's all the safety i'm stoked though can't wait to hear the dirty old commons fire to life willard 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 you know knock up the neighbor dog oh wait you got no nuts all right so as far as spots go for looking around here oh they're mint tires over there i don't know I don't know where those tires come from, but uh, we got a old Ford over there. I don't know what kind of mint car that is. We got to give a tour of this dirt here pretty soon, but the power is right here. We got power right here. Well, this, this is where the, uh, this is the basement for the sea can. Oh, everything got a little bit of heat treatment. Whether don't eat a bunch of nails or something. Well, here's the basement for the sea can. I mean, we're going to have it on a basement because we're classy like that. Man, this thing is sketchy as Is that a piss jug? Man, come check this piss jug out. Oh, there's a piss jug. There's a whole mountain of piss jugs. Vintage piss jugs. You hey, think we can kick this wall in? Oh, yeah, that'll go. You think it gets better with age? Like and wine? Push on that thing. Push on it? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that was really fun, actually. Oh, we squished the piss jug. Oh, oh. another one. <laughs> Something new if we put this thing together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun. This is Sparta. Oh, do it again. This is Sparta. Oh, oh man. Ah! <laughs> All we're missing is a six pack and a brown guy. And you're to go. It's so much fun. Oh, almost got withered. Stunned. But I think this is a prime spot to put her. Yeah, we're going to put her on the. What side is that? Is that the road runs east west? So that's 
That's west. The sun's there, so I think we're a little bit angled, I think. But yeah, we're gonna put it right here. This is all nice lawn and the driveway's right there. Oh, oh they didn't worry about all that burnt stuff. You know what else is burnt? Willard's brain. Willard, are you stoked? Or are you stunned? Oh. We could get this old Ford running. All right, so all of this burnt, right? That's travel trader, buddy's like a little house thing with the boat. Oh, oh, I brought the 12 gauge. Did you get rid of that with this squirrel delete? But oh yeah, yeah, here, look at this, okay? This is how tough Ford is. You see all that burnt, all that garbage, the travel trailer, metal buildings, all that stuff burnt. You know what doesn't burn? Fords. The tires burnt. How didn't the truck burn? Like, how, how did that happen? It's built. Look at that fender's in good shape. It's about F1 3.0, but we'll see. Oh, it might. This one's a two by four. Is it bolt action? Oh, she's not auto tragic. It'll probably is, run. Is there tape in the deck? I don't know. Is there a tape in the deck? Oh, yeah. What do we got? Country hits. Blue Canadian Rockies. Roses are red. And my shoes are blue. Oh, that's amazing. That's mine. I called that. Oh, that thing's mint. Man, we got to we gotta get yeah, this truck. Oh, the cigarette lighter's in it, too. Full set. Nice. Full set of four. Old four. All right, we got to get this old Ford running. Oh, I need a long box. You think she'll chooch? Oh, she will. I got Cosby sauce that says it'll chooch. How much out here? All of it. All of it. All this of it. is a it's paradise, bud. It is. Look at this. Widowmaker. Free Widowmaker. Oh, you got to hit the switch. Man. Oh, you got to grab that thing. I bet you with some piss and some oh. oil. She's a runner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, buddy, she runs. Now, what, what, what the is this thing? When I look at this thing, I just think something's going to amputate me. More. We still got one leg left. Oh, look at this five inch dust tip, bro. Oh, it's so sick. Sick, dope. Ugh. And we gotta check onto the ranch here. Yeah, so we come out here to unload the sea camera. We spend five hours getting this pile of <laughs> in. I think it'll. I think we're running out of daylight to do the dangerous part either, so. Oh, yeah, we're not even gonna. It's not even gonna be that dark. Oh, the lights will work on that old. Man, I bet you this old prick fires up. Sadly, this thing looks better than almost every engine on your property, so. Oh, it hasn't. Well, <laughs> I haven't had my time to fiddle. What was that? And it, there's no coolant in it. That's fine. You don't even need coolant. Got AC, bud. It's got washer fluid, so we're good. She a five, oh, she's a five liter. She's not even a five eight. How did the wheels burn? But the truck didn't burn. There's no way that it happened. They had to have put the wheels on it after. Yeah, that doesn't add up at all. Yeah, oh yeah, because the back, well, that, the back room, that's not the right size bolt pattern. Yeah, Hillbilly Muffbusters for sure. Oh yeah, but this thing's been shaped. That's a good truck. I bet you'd fire this thing up, put new rim, rims and tires on it. You could daily drive this. Or, oh, it's. I think this is five on four though. This will fit on my my dynasty. This is some kind of Mopar. Oh, the tires is that holding wind still? Oh, a little fiberglass. Oh, did not hold wind. So well, but I think oh, wow. I, I think she might have burnt. Oh, look at this. That's awesome. I think this thing might have burnt pre-fire. Oh yeah, that's but that's that's, that's fiberglass tech. Yeah, whether it eat that, that'll be good for you. That's, that's, that's dodge body work right there. That's fiberglass tech. This will be good. Man, fire to that. Transport. Oh, don't breathe that in. <laughs> oh, are those track tracks for a dozer over there? Tracks and rails. Oh yeah, those are probably still good, except for those ones. Those ones are those ones are a bit. Oh, look at that! It's literally a dodge. Look at I that. told you it was a dodge. I know, but it's a just, hot it's pile a dodge of dodge. Truck. I think so, man. Look at that lime green. That's beautiful interior on that truck. Oh, that's an old Chevy. I think mint. Seventies washing machine green. Oh, it's gorgeous. Same color that's in that old K Whopper. Well, almost. You know how many? Rod got finger banged in a sassy old Chevy. This thing's like Robert's garage is old Chevy. This door's in mint shape though. Like no all in the side. This door has no rust on it. Quit picking on my Dodge, my old six. Just it's in shape compared to all this stuff. <laughs> well, this is old steel, buddy. Old steel's a ticket. Look at But why did someone eight. replace the door on a cab? That's oh, this cab's actually. Oh, it, oh yeah, she's pretty oh. ripe. Oh, she's a Dodge cab and a four door. But, that's just a GM door. This is old. This is old Chevy. Is it? That's old. That's like a '72 Chev. Huh. Yeah, it's mint. Well, uh, I love this. Literally excited about it. Up. You would really like that weather. You do you, buddy. You do you. <laughs> <I'm> stunned. <laughs> what are your stunned? Nobody. All right, let's get this dirty old cable opera to chooch. All righty. Well, we're gonna. We gotta get the batteries out of here. Oh, we're gonna pull the whole works over there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get the pilot start, and then we're gonna go get the uh, slave leg and cunt presses out of the back and get her rigged in, and then uh, it's just easy as that. Right, Kevin? 15 minute, 15 minute job. 15 minute job. The sun won't even be down by the time we're done. I think the sun's gonna be down, and like by the time I'm done videotaping this little short clip here, I'll tell you the truth. 
All right, well, we got my mittens on. Let's get to work. I left the key in it, didn't I? I thought I left the key in it. Oh, yeah, I think I did. I left it in the battery box. Oh, yeah, there's the battery. I made all these up. Oh, this was the... Wasn't this to run it? This was to run it. Yeah, and we converted it from 12 to, or 24 to 12 volt. Yeah, we did a bunch of work on the sassy old prick, didn't we? What was the ground wire? So I'm gonna have to crawl my fat ass under there and see which power and which is ground. Oh, the dumpy's nest all jammed up in the thing. Open the sassy flip up hood. This thing, it's sinking in the ground already. It sank in the ground from when we got it before and it's sinking in the ground again. It's almost like it's the crane truck and it weighs all of it. <laughs> Willard stupid. Yeah, so the big there. Yeah, pull on that big wire. Yeah, that's her. That's power. All right. Pile them in there like that with power heading that way. And then uh, hook this guy to this guy. And then this one is power. This thing's just going to shoot right up. You think it's going to need any Cosby sauce? Yeah. Yeah. No? No? Oh, this thing's loyal, man. All right, I'll go grab the ranches and stuff. Oh, there's the snatch right there. Oh, the Princess Auto Riggins, buddy. We're going to lift this thing. Everybody watching this thing was like, oh, Peg bought a house that isn't mobile. The channel's gonna go to He's an uppity prep. Every time I start thinking about it, though, I think about that Jeff Fox worthy joke where he's like, when your richest relative buys a house and you have to help him take the wheels oh, off of it. Right. And that's, that's me, buddy. I'm, oh, oh, fuck. oh, that's the gutter. We can do a corner? Good thing that's ground. <laughs> well, really, the, t the truck's touching the ground, so what do you need ground for? Think that's how it works. Same thing. Liberal logic. And if it doesn't like that, it's racist. Oh, buddy, she's gonna die off. Man, that 12 to 24 converter. <laughs> you all right let's see key on yeah just click that starter in there i'll see if she rolls over just click that. oh yeah all right so this wire here listen nothing but i think if this wire here went to this switch listen yeah now it's got power going through it or needs power i think this is the injection pump so now the injection pump's hot do you think it's gonna need so what the f temperature is right now it was yeah minus 16 comma what the that in freedom units. I don't know, man. That's Canadian. We're gonna have to f the conversion again because we're communists. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Are you excited? I'm excited. All right. Clutch in for less shittiness of the crankage. Ready? Is it smoking? It's smoking. Cranking faster. Let's just kill the batteries, eh? Yeah. Oh. Ready? It's gonna go. Oh, oh, Redline and Redneck. Welcome back to the Redline Redneck YouTube channel. We find the Redneck where you would find most Rednecks at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. Pass the f out in a rotted out motorhome with his gum boots on. It's a simple life for the Redneck. Let's watch him struggle once again. Please consider subscribing. Remember, he's hit with the old Detroits. Well, even though it's the Cummins, it doesn't make any sense at all. But you gotta let her sit here for a bit and let her. What did he say? Like a 30 second chooch thing. Oh man, remember the speaker that was in here? The music going down the highway? Oh yeah, that went out on the highway, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he ripped his off and threw it on the highway because it was oh, pissing us. All right, before we kill that brand new starter we put in there, we're gonna give her a snore of the good stuff and she's gonna fire right off. Oh, do you smell that sassy 1202 a burning? Yeah, I think one of the chooch pipes isn't even hooked up. So since she's a Canadian K Whopper, she's got double sided chooch pipes. So they got a flappy thing in here. I don't know how the if I can show you. Yeah, so there's a flappy thing. Dingleberry in the back of your throat, right? And this flappy thing, if you guys look at that here, what are you stunned? So this means that it'll pull air from under the hood, and this means it'll pull air from outside. So when these things are up and tuck the uck tuck and the rest of it, it'll 
pull air from under the hood and it won't frost shit off. So Kevin, there's a ether canister on this thing, right? And there's a starting switch on the dash that said ether, right? So ether blows these things up every time? That's that's crazy, eh? Who are the mentally retarded and what are they really like? The intelligence level of the custodial retarded is so low that they cannot be taught even these fundamental life requirements. People are stunned. So we'll give her a snort and then give her all the way. How much? All of it. That's all she needs is that. I'm excited. She's going to chew right off. snacks in here when I drove her back. They're all melted and f***ed up, but they're still pretty good. Yeah. What a mint old board. Alrighty, so since this piece doesn't make enough wind to overcome all the leaks that she had. How much wind does she have in her now? We got, oh, it's got 30 or 35 piss eye of air. So we're gonna rig in the Slave Lake air compressor to make up for that. But I wonder, is there headlights, park lights? Beacon light. Oh, there's a beacon light. Yeah. Uh, Jacon 3. Let's see here. CL lamps. I don't know what the I know. That's all the headlamps. Uh, is there any more switches for outside lights? Jake brake always on. Yeah, I don't think there's any more switches for a guy. For, uh, is there any rear lights? No rear lights at all, eh? Hey, you got marker lights on the roof for a bit, and that's it. But it's got tail lights and shit but she got no no work lights. We'll just have to work in the dark. Cause running the crane truck from 1980, cooking up a sea can that you don't know how much it weighs on everything that's At least the trailers are rental though. We oh, got them. never had lights in the 80s, buddy. Yeah, they just, they just gave her. It's a, it's a stinger too. It didn't come with lights. That's the way she goes. Well, it came with lights, but they just don't work. Speaking about, speaking about not working, we gotta get the hydraulic oil on this thing too. Cause it just fires out dust control out of that, that downrigger. Yeah. 
spare you. Well, we gotta go underneath the old blur. We have a gander. Oh, the fuel line just dragging on the ground. But we gotta plumb into here with the air compressor. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, we're gonna shut her down. I think she starts right back up? Fire right up. Oh, what a treat. This is a real low idle. Six hundy. How's the sound system? Oh, wait. Oh, the sound system on the highway in Vegas. Yeah, but those are some nice house speakers. You know how many times Garth Brooks, Baton Rouge has been played through that thing? Oh, and ZZ Top. You know, oh. many, many. Uh, oh, with the green, or the green interior like this, nothing but the oldies, gold and oldies. Oh yeah, man, she's got a wig wag in her. Remember the wig wag? I was getting just pissed because it wouldn't go up. Oh, and then all the airlines blew. How many airlines blew? All, all of it. Because then, then the rear axle was all up and everything. It was that a fiddle. Was it was a fiddle. I was getting pissed off, but we got her here. Alrighty, so we're gonna sneak under here. And we're gonna get blasted in the face with oil and uh, whatever else accumulated in this air tank. Pull this bung out of here. So we had to put a new air tank in it. The other tanks were leaking. This thing had all the air leaks. And the compressor on loader valves all I wonder how much wind's in it now. Is there wind in it? It sounds like there's lots of wind in it. But there's not lots of wind, but there's some wind. <sighs> so we'll thread that guy in there. So now we got auxiliary air. The old Slave Lake air compressor is going to have her work cut out for her. Man, this thing's a hybrid. It burns engine oil, diesel, and with the Slave Lake air compressors on the back of her, she's going to be burning well, I guess that thing's burning 1202 and 1203 as well. It's a, tw it's a 1267 kind of truck. Oh, so we're going to take this line meow and hook her in underneath. I think there's lots of diesel in this thing, isn't there? Oh, there's some in there. Is there a stick? Fuel gauge engaged. Let's see here. Oh, she's got like a quarter tank unleaded, buddy. Man, how are you doing over there? Oh, hold on. I'm with my eye hole. Are you with your eye hole? That'll happen. All right, well, we gotta open up the back of the house here. <sighs> Man, wait till you guys see this in here. She's just sassy. Like an episode of Cribs. Insulated, got workbenches. We're gonna gut all the junk out of here. I mean, it's got a I'm pretty sure that's a DEF burn pot off a big truck. I don't know if that's worth any money or not. But uh, she's pretty, oh, it's radioactive. Don't worry about that. There's all this stupid here we got chains and all kinds of fiddle it's mint all mint you guys need a desk let me know i'll hook you guys up but yeah she's mint we're gonna gut all this junk out of here put a wood stove in here it's just gonna be a palace and a sea can oh there's a bucket pump in here we're gonna need this thing more than the 1950 air compressor that's my favorite but oh it's a slave lake air compressor buddy and this is auxiliary air for the k whopper it's had a hard life Ever, remember that video with the concrete truck? Oh, that was this old whore, wasn't it? Oh yeah, she come out of the back of her pretty hard. I didn't, I didn't like it. It's a lot easier to walk with. Does that mean we're tag teaming? Oh, no, it? grab it with that. Yeah. Like this? See. Oh, no, it's gonna garbage. be way worse. It's <laughs> junk. <laughs> Fuck. Junk. It is junk, Willard. Oh, it's a piece. Of Three, two, one, up. Oh, it's all caught up on it. I think I'm gonna drop a nut. Uh, there we go. I can't believe I put diesel in this thing. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Look, see it says right there. Compressor, Slave Lake edition. Mint. There you go. Slave Lake. Are you serious? Willard uh, actually bit that old as No, I just went and grabbed it. Uh, Willard? Let's ask him. Willard, come here. What is this? Oh, he did. He f***ed it. Oh, well. There's a couple holes in there. How did... The, uh, control, no yeah. bolts. We need this thing. Look at it. That's awesome. We need it for in here. Because this is how you fill it. Through this Oh, that might work. All right, so we're gonna fire up this guy. Plug the compressor in. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's a fuel pump thing in here. Plug her onto the old slave lake. Mint. The compressor still got wind in it. Oh, just mint. All right, let's fire it up. Gas on. Oh, gotta unload her.
We need some Cosby sauce. There she goes. Let's see, is she building the wind? Oh, yeah, bud. So between the slave leg air compressors and the key whopper, she's gonna build wind. Let's fire it up. Man. Catch a pedal back here. What a treat. All right. Is this thing raised? None of that's working. Okay, I need some other. Needs like another PTO or some fiddle to be engaged here. But it's got 90 piss eye in her, so it should control things. It's not even that dangerous. There's definitely some kind of an air, air actuated sucker that engages that. Alrighty, so down here at the Amputator 500, I don't remember, oh, it'd just be a disaster if I got stuck into that. But I don't remember where the fucking air switch is for this thing. But well, we got lots of wind, so all we gotta do is tie into this compressor, tie it into this actuator, and hopefully, it gives the uh, engagement that we need to run the f***ing uh, PTO so we can run the boom. So we're going to do that. Right there, mouth breather to mouth. So what was going on is we had the slave leg air compressors winding up the whole truck. Truck's supposed to take the wind, put it up to a switch on the dash. You engage the switch on the dash. The wind goes down underneath the truck where you've seen, engages the PTO to the truck engages that, which then starts turning hydraulic oil, which then sends hydraulic oil to all the functions on the truck what was happening was there was a blockage in the line so that was absolutely so there was no wind getting to the pto so all i did is i ran a line from the wind tank to the pto so as soon as she had enough wind she was engaged in the pto and we were good to go how much wind do you got 75 yeah so hit it in in out. out so we got no actuation of the compressor or the pto here so this line here is so yeah, we're gonna thread that guy into there. Thread this guy into here. 916th, 11th out of it. Alrighty, well let's see what happens. Fire the compressor back up. Alrighty, well we'll wait for the wind all the way back up. 70 pence high, the wig wag starting to go back up. So I'll shove the clutch in. Make sure that guy's in the gear. Box is out of gear. But should. I'm pretty sure. Nothing. Feels like it's running. That's running. How does that work? But this doesn't work. this thing. Alrighty, so what I did, turn the air up again, there's a valve in there, I just pry barred it up, and now, oh, I think, yeah, it kind of worked. So let's spin it around. And we'll rig that snatch block up now. Wanna f***ing trees up with it? Oh yeah. Oh, you don't need to worry about the trees. <laughs> oh, I'm basically a crane operator now. If it doesn't work, we're gonna go with your way. Because <laughs> I think this guy goes on to that guy. I think. I think. And then this guy... Well, this guy lets all the horsepower, right? Fuck it! I don't 
Maybe what you don't think you say when you're lifting. All of it. 14,000 pounds. No idea what we're doing, yeah. <laughs> well, they, I don't know. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy goes through that. And then this guy goes on to that guy, which goes on to that guy. Uh, I think. Alrighty, so this mini hot rod came with a bunch of chains in it. So what we're gonna do is, you know, this is all legal rated perfect stuff so we're gonna pull the cotter pins out of this run it through that snatch block run it over top of that uh cable and stick it all back together and then uh, pray to baby lord jesus that it all held together because uh it's uh it's gonna be sketchy even for my taste so how much do you think this princess auto snatch block actually rated for Fifty thousand pounds oh i'd say at least yeah that's auto sells quality buddy nothing but the best how much do you think this greasy old rusty 1980s cable is good for that might be the problem i'm gonna go with uh 19,000. yeah 90 just just a bit below the limit of explosions so you're not gonna want to be anywhere near this hot rod see there's a danger sticker on yeah, i'm gonna go stand on the road yeah probably a good idea so basically this is gonna spread out to the chains that are spreading from either side this is gonna be rowdy this is not gonna be safe <laughs> exactly <laughs> is it in the dark yes is this hillbilly yes is this a 1980 LW 900 crane truck? I believe so. Yeah. Are we gonna I'm, be? Yeah. Are we gonna be living in a crane? Man, we should just leave the crane truck right here and just crane it off here, because it's kind of nice in the bushes, isn't it? And then there's less chance of us dying like that. I'm gonna be on the road, so if I hear you screaming, I'll come running back. That's yeah. Plan. Yeah. If you hear like a sea can drop and then screaming, that means it didn't die all the way. All right, this is a serious case of pissing with the pecker you're provided. So we got, we cut off a chunk of that half inch chain. So versus the shackle versus the half inch chain. So the shackle's five eighths, but I figure if it's half inch chain, you got one inch of meat there, one inch of meat there. So it should hold together. Princess auto snatch, you know, that's not gonna be the weak point. Old Kevin here, so I was hooking that into there, set onto that, which is way better. I mean, that thing's rated, that, it's all rated. That thing was a safety tag. We actually cut the end off. That still had the safety tag on it. That's what that means, so it's fine. So now we're gonna hoist that into the air and pick up that giant, really heavy ass sea can home, and we're not gonna die, right, Kevin? Yeah, we're probably not gonna die. I've shook hands with danger before, but this takes the cake, I think. Love I'll you, buddy. I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> as to where all the riggings came from that we're about to lift that with. First two don't count. I'm gonna say we found them in that thing. There's some in there, but there's also some that came from our dump. Oh, okay. So we're safe, we're dump good. Provide, oh, the dump provides. So we're gonna lift it up right here. We're gonna put the, the dolly legs down and then uh, red line the f everything because this thing has to be red line for everything to work and everything will be just fine. What we're gonna do here, red line the f out of it. So 
we couldn't figure out what was going on with the hydraulic system. After watching the footage and fiddling around and dinking around and talking to Dallas this is what we can figure so if you just noticed there I was bottoming the hydraulics out on the dolly leg so what happens is the hydraulic pump here that runs off the tray it runs hydraulic oil up to the uh to a splitter block and one goes to the the dolly leg control which goes out to your leg control so when you're when you're let that that basically controls your down ring so that keeps the crane from falling over that runs off of a non-piloted system all right so after it goes from there the oil goes up to a pilot regulator i reckon i think this is a pilot regulator i've seen it inside of the mast there so what that does is it takes the high piss eye hydraulic oil knocks it down to a low piss eye for the crane pilot control so crane pilot control is that little control rigging you see me fiddle with or, or dallas is fiddle meow so this thing knocks it down to i don't know like 900 piss eye or some low piss eye so these pilot lines can tr can tell the crane main valve body what the f to do so the crane main valve body obviously had high piss eye this thing has high piss eye right but the f controls take a low piss eye pilot and this regulator right here i think it's all full of because the uh the top of the return like the reservoir for the oil was all fiddle and water was getting in there and i'm gonna guess this thing was all gummed up so this thing wasn't getting enough piss eye so what dallas was doing is he would dead end the hydraulics on the fucking dolly legs he'd dead end the hydraulics that are already all the way out and he would just try to get them to go out even more causing a deadhead in the hydraulics which over pressurized the spool or whatever the inside of this regulator to give the pilot control enough pressure to tell the crane what to do this was the most hillbilly fiddle rigging we've ever fiddle with. and now i'm going to stand in the uh the chain there and go up and down because i mean safety first but i hope that makes sense to all you minty pricks that's all we could figure was yeah dead end in the hydraulics here was causing this guy to overpressure, which was causing it to give this guy enough pressure which was causing it so we could run the crane that's what we could figure and that's what worked a little bit this way good that's right in the middle uh, a little bit that way so if you're watching here, watch what Dallas does. He's standing on the other side of the truck, and then he swings that control valve thing around, right? Okay? Because the thing stopped working. So now he dead ends the hydraulics on the dolly legs, and then the thing starts to work again. That's how we figured it out. <laughs> we got it figured out, buddy. Cutting her tight on chain here. I need one more chain. Is there? Oh, well, there's one there. I'm gonna rappel down on a ratchet strap. Is that how you're gonna get That's down? how I'm gonna get down. All right, well, that's kind of rigged. Hold up, hold up. What do you think? Is that really bad? I think you should not be up there at all. To to Hold on. I gotta get down now. Yeah, you gotta dead end it, remember? What a fing hillbilly setup. Well, I guess we're gonna have to see what happens. We're gonna have to rappel down, I guess. I'm gonna tie a safety knot in this. <laughs> sake. Oh yeah. Man, are you gonna try? Are you ready? I'm ready. You can get further away here. Yeah, get behind that boom. Wow, that's some nice rigging.
Can you boom up? Oh, it's up like a left handed Frenchman now. Man, I'll just get you in your life, but just not top it. Just get the pressure off of it. I think she's not happy. It's going up. Holy hillbilly. Can you Can you boom up now? Try booming up. Yeah, the winch is maxed out. That's what's wrong. <laughs> that clevis is pretty designed on. It didn't blow up. Or the snatch. I can still boom up a little. Yeah, boom up. Keep booming up. Do you have the whole f rigging right now, or? No, I don't think so. So if I drive out from under it, are you dead? No, no. Those are good hydraulic noises. Yeah, that's everything she's got. It ain't fucking down. I can rub a... Try driving ahead. Brett, want me to floor it? I'll floor it, and then you can... I don't think it's gonna matter. Ready? Ready? Am I gonna try to drive up under this? Look at this sketchy f***ing rig. <laughs> Only if you guys can see the rig and they can't hey, see the Go put your big toe underneath that thing. Let me put oh, it. I'd stand on it all day long. It's fine. I'm a tagline. I'm fine. Coming down, buddy. Yeah, huh? There goes the rigging. Sketchy. Fucking do job done. Oh man. <laughs> man, I'm running on real adrenaline right now. Can you lift me back up there? I'm gonna need my riggings. Okay, do it. Buddy, what a treat. What me, a piece of shit. If you hadn't shown up though, either Kevin or me would have died. Why? I didn't do anything safe. You, well, you, well, yeah, but yeah, did but you, you did. Did you see me deadheading the stiff leg so that the pain would work? But that then, was custom. What about the time where you deadheaded and I was flooring it to try to get more <laughs> out of it? You know. But did you see how the riggings was? Like, there was some geometric patterns that were not. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, if a crane guy watches this, he's gonna be like, okay, those first chains are way too low an angle, first of all. And oh, the, the, middle, the middle loop chain, all that, I wouldn't have done it that way. Can I tell you a story about Canyon <laughs> no and technical services when I, when I showed up to the rigging course drunk? 
Well, I was so hung over and drunk, and the, the rigging guy like, oh, angles and chains. I'm like, you don't need to worry about all that. Man, it would have been so cool if we had like a four leg lifting bridle that was like 20 Ooh. footers. We had a one legged lifting hillbilly. <laughs> Man, it was a like habit. <laughs> this is a pile of sh it's, it's a f***ing beautiful pile of sh Kenworth, good job, sweetheart. Good job. What a sweetheart. You... you know, you're a true f***ing hillbilly if your house has a thing that says buyer is responsible for loadout and, and all costs associated. That's how you know you're living the f***ing right life, but I'm f***ing be tired. I'm going to haul my f***ing hillbilly ass home and go to bed. What a f***ing treat. Alrighty, well, we're gonna tickle the key one more time on the old girl. What a loyal, hot piece of <laughs> Oh, the horn works. F***ing mint. You don't need to worry about f***ing safety when you're doing riggings for a pickup truck. You don't need to worry about swing drives. You don't need to worry about what bearings are supposed to look like. Oh yeah, that's fine. But thumbs up for War Amps for all your hair lifts and half wits for rocking this dirty derelict garbage. Uh, Kevin, single driving, I had a blast. The old, uh, the old picker truck there. Just a treat. It's just a giant pile of wore out. But it just so happens that's exactly what I like. There wasn't a hose on that pile of. It didn't leak oil. The motor sacked out. Any sounded like. Everything was absolute derelict garbage. But just I couldn't have more fun with it. Love that junk. And after editing that video, watching the sparks come flying out of the old chain riggings while I was standing right beside it, I mean, I mean, it did my butt when I washed it then, but it, well, it did my butt before that, so that's fine. But I sure am glad that all you minty half wits and hair lips enjoyed watching this derelict garbage, because man, I enjoy making it. Going out, fiddle around the dark, red line, and the shit out of things, spraying ether, and just cheating on everything. It's a good time. And the only reason my crippled ass able to get that done is because of these minty cricks right here. So I'm gonna sit here in the old can't afford something else kid steer. And just mint, just a loyal old pile of iron. And give thanks to all the minty old pricks that are keeping this dirty derelict old boat afloat and keeping freedom of speech paid for around here. Let me tell you, in old Frost Pakistan, freedom of speech ain't free. So starting off with the 10 buckers, we got Zachary Baker, Walbrack, Wicked Caprice 82, Weinerd Maine, Tristan, Trayton, Kumski, Salty Nuts, Rum Turtle 69, Matt Nube, Jonah Stevenson, John N, Jeremy Alshine, James Brust, Jacob Reif, Jack Dahlman, Hellbilly's Lost, Hank Erectus, Dirty Joe, Chase Marhuis, Chad Kurzwina, Brian Mediar, Broken Twisted Garage, Brian Gobble, Bindable Function, Mender Bender, Anthony Peglia, and Anthony Crawford. And 4.6 guy. What kind of 4.6, bud? What the f again? As far as the 15 buckers go, we got Simon Renchard, Doug Stinson, and Derelict 5.8. What the f get the 5.8 in, bud? She ripped? We got the minty. 20 buckers. We got Zach Goins, Tyler, Molson Latte, Mason Murphy, Isa Winslow, Jay Colton, Colby Cheese, Casey Logger, Peef Master Flex 25 Beams. Peef Master Flex? That's it, buddy. I don't know what the f that is, but it sounds pretty badass. 35 buckers. We got Braden Douglas. 50 buckers. We got I Do Car Things. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. That's a badass name. And 100 bucks. John Albertson. Minty as dropped it. Sometimes you gotta drop it. Doing the mint time. It's the way she goes. You guys think this dirty old shop dog's still gonna chooch? Oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, this thing's filthy. She ain't gonna burn. Maybe Willard's gonna eat it later, but oh. <coughs> oh. So you got all those minty pricks that wanted to jump on the old Patreon bandwagon? I appreciate the of it. But then you got the minty pricks that have already been here a while and seen fit to give my crippled ass a raise. What a treat. Alrighty, so first on the list you got Kizabella Quinn, Ben Price, Dominic, Brandon Pemmer, Denron Borgi, Francis Coleman, Michael Catter Heinrich, William McGowan, Cornell Primrose, Chippewa Creek Ferd. Buddy, that's a badass name. Timmy, Ornery Redneck, No Time Outlaw, Johnny Man, Taryn Davis, Jeremy Reiser, Hillbilly Deluxe, Ben Bodigam, Ashton Ladd, like L-A-D-D, -D, like Lad 1, Mint, Logan Smith, Mike Whitetaker, The Southern Yankee, Ray Schwartz, Josh, Mika, is that your name? Mika? Micah? Jacob Acker, Will, my dick fit, Devin Enrich, John, Hayden Kelser, Jack, give me a raise of 17 76, Mint, RJ Kittner, Tim Duke, and Mason Murphy. So I usually have a book that's where I keep these 
minty pricks. I write them all down. I write every one of your minty pricks names down. I don't want to lose all this. This means a lot to this crippled hillbilly. It is. I fucking lost the book again in this fucking shop. I don't know where it is. It's in here somewhere. The last time I found it was behind the lathe, but now I'm stunned. Well, that's what happens when your memory is as short as your pecker is. Once again, thanks all you minty hair lips and half witch for watching this derelict garbage and until the next dirty derelict production you guys keep out your ass